I think I gotta get ready for some bullshit here. But since we're on a topic of Bible, yeah, let's go there. I notice a lot of people like to use Cain and Abel. Cain being the archetypal guy that you don't like, whether it's the black guy, the Jew, or the Cro-Magnon Koanic Souls case. But whoever your archetypal douchebag is, he's represented in Cain. He's like the unwanted, red-headed child of Adam and Eve, and he basically kills Abel. He kills the favorite kid, and God told him not to do it, and he got exiled because of it. I saw it in a play. I've read the Bible, like the Old Testament, front and back a couple of times, 2009. And O ten. I think in my high school days I was a little bit studious of the New Testament because it was less exotic. I kind of like the edgier, exotic nature of the Old Testament growing up as a younger kid, but I had to focus on the other side for my political philosophy and things like that. The Hebraics are really interesting people. Uh, taking off my pants, nigga. Try not to get horny. But, uh, fucking Envy is an interesting emotion for me because growing up, there were people that were envious of me for things I didn't have. People were envious because I was rich. I've never been rich in my entire life. Uh, people were envious because I had all the girls. You can tell that's fucking stupid. And people were fucking envious of me because I got the good grades. I'm a D student. At best, I was a B student during my sophomore year of high school. But that's a shitty magnum opus. Uh, at my very best, to and yeah, that's basically it. People were envious of me for things I didn't possess. The one thing I did possess was the fact that I'm a doll, and that's really why. What people were kind of envious of on an unconscious level, just little doll privileges soaked under heavy levels of social awkwardness. I have an awareness that they really dislike. And that really kind of made the bullying I experienced growing up go from bullying to uh, after 8th grade when people were literally trying to stone me. There's like the summer before 8th grade, I kind of adopted a, basically a kind of cool doll introspection. And from then on, it was less people trying to bully me as much as there being a penis measuring contest whenever I'm a new, in a new environment. And it's fucking interesting because it's always when I'm in a new environment that people are trying to start shit with me. And I always eventually fire back. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Envy is an interesting emotion, going back to that. Because I can feel embarrassed in spite of someone else. I do this a lot of time with anime. When I watch anime, the male protagonists are such dweebs. And I feel embarrassed for them. Or when I'm watching a Jewish directed romantic comedy where cool edgy character becomes beta as fuck and I have to like sit through that shit try to feel embarrassed for this nigga. 
And really, shit. I can feel embarrassment. I can feel hatred in spite of other people or because of with another person. I can feel the opposite. I can feel love. I can feel a sort of positive connection, happiness, sadness, fear. But envy and schadenfreude, no. I can basically fake a schadenfreude. Just like I can fake an envy. I can say things that sound envious, bitter, but I can't be envious. And people won't believe me when I say that shit. Like, well, oh, but you kind of act like this here. Sometimes you gotta communicate in a way that people can understand. Language is the message you're trying to get across and also what you want people to infer of you from that message and another thing I kind of skipped one point or what you want not to think of what you think of them or some shit like that like if I say you're a faggot I'm telling you you're a faggot I'm telling you that I'm trying to get that message across I'm telling you that that's what I really think of you and that's what I want you to think of me as a guy that call you that I'm that kind of guy. I'm that homophobic nigga. But envy, schadenfreude, these are emotions that I've never been able to feel. Like, shit. But that doesn't make me a better person because I've got a lot of fucking flaws as a human being. A lot of shit that in any other decade or not decade, fucking century would have probably made me not as revered as I am now. And now I'm not that revered. But now I'm just like knocking myself. Which isn't what I'm trying to do. But the point being is that envy is fucked. Envy is an interesting emotion. Because <laughs> it's beta, yet it's an expression of power in a way. Isn't that kind of funny? I remember a lot of guys, whenever there's a girl that they kind of want, but they're hovering around her for a couple of months and she thinks that person is weird. When that girl finally gets a fucking boyfriend or has other things to do besides go for a guy, these fucking beta meds are all go always go and fuck that bitch, fuck everything about her. I should have listened to everyone that said she was bad news, man. She smells like fucking sour cream and onion. Her her ass is nothing. She got no curves. She got no titties. She got no I'm like, she, she was sucking dick in the bathroom. Some of these guys just, really, and then they say fuck that nigga too. Fuck that guy, man. You pussy. He used to get, like, bullied a lot all the time in school, man, because he was mad at Herb or some shit like that. I'm thinking, let's eat the sour grapes. Very squeezing fruits up. Harvesting berries for the winter. It's taking forever for me to get dressed because I'm distracted and shit. That's the one thing that's happened to me over months. It takes forever for me to get dressed because I really don't want to fucking go out. I stall all the time. Don't want to be here. Don't want to go out. Don't know what to do. So, don't want to do my homework. Things don't change that much. Shit, where are my socks at, nigga? Anyway, this is Mr. Wonka 7. 
I'm envious of the size of your dick, man. I know you're happy about the fact that you got a big dick, but I'm you're really suffering because of it. That's it, man. You still gotta suck my dick, though.